Hello everyone, Coach Carol with you on January 21 with livecast number 21. And today I'm thinking and researching and finding out all about the occupations of my ancestors. I wanted to learn what it was like to walk a mile in their shoes. So I've been doing a little research into my cutting line, my maternal ancestors, to find out what work they did. Let me share today's slide with you first. To find out your occupations of your ancestors is a wonderful thing to do because it will help you understand how those occupations have driven and shaped the family through time. So there's several things that you can do. You can discover the occupations of your ancestors by delving into census records. And the most recent of those for England and Wales, the 1921 census has been revealing. The second thing that you could do is research the history of their occupations, find out what strange occupational names meant, what they did in that work, and locate the guilds for those occupations. The third thing you can do is to build up a picture of your most prevalent ancestral occupations to create an occupational timeline. Let me now share with you some of the things that I've found recently. Coming back in here, taking the slides away and now sharing with you some of the things that I have found when researching my cutting line. I've set these up as pictures that you can now see on your screen. And the first one was in following a particular line of thought I was researching my uncles who were twins and the first point port of call was their baptism record. Just zoom in on that one and you can see here Charles Reginald and George Frank both baptised on the 17th of November and their family residence is 70 Gloucester Road and their father's occupation was plumber. So that's one way you can find out what the occupations were. So moving forward now in time and looking deeper into the mystery of my uncle Frank, who was born George Frank, but was always known as Frank. He was living with my great aunt, Edith Mary Howells, in the 1911 census. And my family story always told me that when the twins were born, one of them was farmed out to an, um, an aunt, the sister of the mother, who was childless. So Frank lived with Auntie Edie. And I noticed here on this 1911 census that his stepfather, I guess you'd call him, Charles, head of the family, was a carpenter. So Frank grew up in a household with a carpenter. So we've got plumbers and carpenters. So let's find out what Frank was doing in the 1921 census. And here he is still living with his aunt, Edith, and his occupation now is engineer's apprentice instrument making. And it even gives the name of the employer and their address. And finally, in the 1939 register, zoom in on that, this one here, Frank George was a universal milling machinist. So stop sharing those. 
and come back to you in the screen because I want to share one last thing with you today. And that is a website where I found descriptions of some of the website or some of the occupations that um, I wanted to find out about. So I went over to Google and put in my question, where can I find out about old occupations? And came up with this one from the family researcher.co.uk. And one of the ancestors in my line was an ironmonger. So I've clicked on ironmonger to find out what that means. But let me go back a page. So here we have an index of all the old occupations neatly set up in alphabetical order. So if you wanted to find out more about a particular ancestor's occupation, and let's say he was a Chandler, which often crops up in my ancestry. Just looking for C-H-A-N Chandler. Here we go. And it gives you a brief description of what the Chandler was. So you can see that up here. So a very useful website, that one. I'll pop that in at the bottom of this live cast for you. And I'll stop sharing that with you. Come back to the screen once I find you again. <laughs> stop sharing. There we go. And that's it for this tip on walking a mile in their shoes and looking for occupations of your ancestors. And if you like this and you'd like to see the others that I've done, it's pretty easy. You can go across to my YouTube channel. And if you just type in coachcarolonline.com forward slash YouTube channel, you'll find me there. Thank you for joining me once again for Livecast 21. And I've got seven more to do for this January challenge. I'll be back soon with more.